that one, said the little prince, as he pursued his journey further, he would be despised by all the others. By the king, by the vein, by the drinker, by the businessman. However, it is the only one that did not seem ridiculous to me. Perhaps it's because he cares about nothing but himself. He sighed with regret and said to himself again, This is the only one where I could have made my friend. But his planet is really too small. There is no room for two. What the little prince did not dare to admit was that he regretted this blessed planet as above all the 1,440 sunsets in 24 hours. As you can see, by hitting something moving in the opposite direction by the same rate, a wormhole will always bring you back to the point of origin. One time when I was going on to Florida, there was a huge black hole, and then next there was another black hole, and then they were just looking at each other, and I'm like, what's happening? And then my airplane almost got stuck into it, and then bang, Bridget. they two collided, and then that created a wormhole. You're ruining so, Leslie's presentation? Yeah. You're ruining Leslie's Don't presentation. Don't know what happened, but... Um, so the theory is that wormholes could be used for time travel, although this remains speculative. While this existence is still um, hypothetical, ongoing research go continues to explore the potential implications of these cosmic phenomena. Um, this has been tonight. Oh my God, she is so annoying. <laughs> Who cares? Forget her. Hey, Bridge, have you ever been to the art gallery? I don't think so. Why? Could be cool. Want to check it out? Couldn't hurt. <laughs> this one looks like your face. Very funny. You know what? This place isn't all that. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Are we getting slower? I give up. What's happening right now? I don't know, but I'm tired. Bridge! What the? Thank God, I thought we'd be stuck in the art gallery forever. Has this place always been here? Who cares? We're out. Okay, we should get to class. Yeah. What? Oh my god. We're never getting out of here. God, Bridge, you're being so dramatic. Dramatic. We're stuck in a time loop. And if we tell anybody, they're gonna think that we're crazy. I should have never let you convince me to leave class. I know, and I'm sorry, but right now the most we can do is try and find a way out. How? I may not have been paying very much attention to Leslie's presentation, but I did hear her say that wormholes always lead you back to the point of origin if you run into something at the same force. How is that supposed to help us? Maybe we run at each other. You know, full speed. No. You have a better idea? I'm not running at you. Full speed. I'm not running at you full speed. So you just want to be here forever? It'll never work. We won't know until we try. Fine, but this is stupid. On my count. On three? On three. One. Two. Three.
What was that? Oh my god, I can't believe it worked. No, you flinched. Okay, let's do it again. No flinching this time. Okay, on three? On three. One. Two. Three. Did it work? Did it work? Only one way to find out. In conclusion, the only way of getting out of normal is by slamming two forces together at the same rate. Very good, Leslie. Mrs. Garrison, you should know that. Where have you two been? Nowhere. Courtney and Bridget have been cutting. They ruined Leslie's presentation. Don't listen to her, Mrs. Garrison. Great job, Leslie. Hey, Brenda. Courtney and I have something to show you in the art gallery later. You're really gonna like it.